BACnet schedules. In relation to the scheduler, the typical user operations are to define switching times or values, modify them, specify local exceptions, or assign the schedule to a calendar object. BACnet schedules are stored in the automation controllers and are used to command plants or objects. In the Flex client, the BACnet schedulers are accessible from either the logical or application view. The logical view offers us several possibilities to select and open the scheduler. For our example, we select the schedule of the ventilation system. We can either open the schedule in the primary or secondary pane, using the related items in the collapsed right panel. We put full focus on this topic and select the primary pane. The open right panel has immediately updated to show us that this scheduler uses calendar one to define the exception days. Another possibility is to open the scheduler in the plant control panel of the graphic with a double click. As a result, the scheduler is selected in the system browser and the weekly schedule opens in the primary pane. The third option would be to search and select the scheduler object directly in the system browser and we would be in the same situation as we are right now. Now let's switch to the application view and select the schedules node. The tile overview shows us all existing calendars and schedulers used in this system. Next, we navigate to the BACnet schedules node and can see that three schedulers are available in our project in the tile overview of the schedule snap in. We again select the schedule for the air handling unit and the primary pane is updated with the weekly schedule of this plant. It retrieves the entries from the schedule of the automation station where it is stored. At the top left, the name of the schedule is displayed. One area further down, an editing option is visible. The current week, month and year are displayed, and there is a possibility to jump back and forth in the weeks. and we have the information that the default operation mode is off. The schedule itself highlights the current day of the week and time, and shows the defined time entries. Our example shows that the plant is in operation 24 by 7. We would like to show you how to change the time entries and for this we need to switch to the edit mode. We are going to turn off the system on the weekends. To do this, we will click on the time entry for Sundays and get the option to change from on to off for the entire day. The green on time period will change to the black off time period, which helps to easily recognize the difference between one operating mode and the other. We repeat the task for Saturdays. Next, we will change the operation of the plant from Monday to Friday so that it runs from 6 in the morning to 7 in the evening. We create the entries as shown here, for Monday. Finally, we save the changed entries and notice that a copy button has replaced the save button. This allows us to copy Monday's entries to all other days. We select the copy function, choose Monday, click Next, and now with the help of the control key on the keyboard, we perform multiple selections of the days from Tuesday to Friday and confirm with paste. The entries are copied and saved simultaneously and confirmed with a toast message. By the way, saving operations in all BACnet schedules and calendars means that the changes are saved in the respective objects in the automation stations. So far, we have achieved our first goal and now we can view the weekly schedule when we click on Overview. But of course, the overview remains unchanged when we navigate to other weeks, for example. The scheduler snap in gives us more possibilities. Let's go back to edit mode. With the exceptions button, we reach the calendar overview, which marks the current day for us. This view is divided into two areas, the actual calendar overview and the editing area, where we can define the entries for the time of the exception. By clicking on the list view, all exceptions that have an influence on this weekly schedule are visible. Currently only the calendar one. When selecting calendar one, it can be seen that the execution command is determined with priority 15. We would have the possibility to reference other calendars via a drop-down menu. 
In the area of entries, the operation mode off is selected for the exception period. This calendar is usually not only related to this ventilation system but is very often used to define common exception days of all systems. The calendar is usually congruent with all calendars in the other automation stations. We have the use case that only for this plant exceptions must be defined. Next Saturday an event is planned and for the period from 11 in the morning until midnight the plant must be in operation and for the preparation of the event, the operation time of the plant must be extended two days before, each time to 11 o'clock in the evening. For these cases, local exceptions can be created, and we can make them both in the list, and in the calendar view, but the more efficient way is to use the calendar view. We first select Thursday and click on the Add Exception dialog box. The open box offers us the following options. The first four choices are local exceptions of the type, date, recurring, date range, and weekday. With calendar we also have the possibility to add another calendar or to reference a calendar at all, if none has been assigned yet. For our first task, the type of date range is necessary. The start date is already selected, so we just need to choose the end date. Define priority. Enter the operation mode on, from 7 to 11 in the evening and lastly save it. Next, we select this Saturday in the calendar and click on the Add feature to select this time date. We set the priority again, create the entries that the plant is in operation from 11 to midnight, and save at the end. The calendar view is updated with the new two exceptions marked in green. And the list view shows us now three exceptions in total, the calendar one and two local exceptions. In the weekly overview the exceptions are clearly marked with a thick bar, in our case green because it symbolizes the on period. As next we have a closer look to the BACnet calendar.